Hey guys, it's Sarah from All Coin Bus Ladies, and today we're gonna talk about a topic that I have tweeted about not so long ago. Unpopular opinion that 2018 market crash wasn't caused by whales, but by the ICO bubble bursting. And ICOs are one of those topics where you can have a massive return on your investment. However, the the, the people might purely just run away with your money. So they're a highly profitable, but also the risk is extremely high at them. And the amount of Ethereum that is sold via ICOs has reached high rates, with over 100,000 Ethereum coins being sold in the last month alone. So before we get on to talking about it, let's have a look on Ethereum. So Ethereum is still ranked number two and is trading at $292 with a market cap of 30 million. We've seen some sort of a run. We had a really good run yesterday. We're seeing a bit of a pullback and it's totally understandable that people are making profits and taking them. So guys, don't panic. Crypto is still alive and it's doing very well. And let's get on with the topic. So Ethereum has seen a lot of action recently with more than 40 million in Ethereum being liquidated in a period of a single month, which basically translates to almost 100,000 tokens which are sold through ICOs alone. That is not exactly an isolated event and the firm called Sentiment that has been tracking various ICOs and collecting data has posted quite interesting results. So according to their data, a single project by the name of Aronomi managed to sell over 1,200 Ethereum coins by itself. An even more exciting thing is the fact that 9,000 of those coins were sold on a single day, which is July 26. This is the biggest Ethereum sale in the last 30 days. The second biggest one came from AppCoins, which managed to sell only 8,400 within 24 hours, which happened only a week ago on August the 9th. In the same time, Monitha, for example, managed to sell 7,000 Ethereum. Next, we have Etherol, which has been selling Ethereum coins throughout the year. However, it would seem that they moved around 5,400 coins around August 2nd, which is actually the highest amount that this project has handled at once ever since February. And last year, the firm called Status managed to set a record when it came to Ethereum sales, where they managed to sell over 30,000 Ethereum coins between August and October of last year. And as they sold only half of that this year, which is 16,000 Ethereum, if you do the great maths, it is still a big deal, especially since 4,800 Ethereum coins were sold in the last 30 days alone. The list of projects that have had a significant impact on Ethereum movement goes on and on and the result is that over 100,000 Ethereum has been sold or removed in the last 30 days. And people are saying that ICOs are cashing out and of course it should be remembered that this data doesn't necessarily show the sales of Ethereum but the amounts that are moved for whatever reason as well. So for example, Ethereal itself confirmed that they did not sell 5,400 but have instead migrated the coins to a new smart contract. And the biggest assumption here has been that moving Ethereum coins is the same as spending them. And while this stands true in most cases, it doesn't always have to be, as we can see in Ethereal's example. Still, the sole fact that the coins are being moved at all is a pretty big hint that somehow something is about to happen to them. Additionally, ever since Ethereum's price started to go down, many ICOs decided to cut their losses and just simply cash out. And unnamed ICOs was recently reported to have raised around 30 million through a pretty decent roadmap. However, they did so when Ethereum price was sky high. After it dropped, the ICO panicked and went for cash which landed them only 4,000 million. And the source of this is one of the Twitter people that I don't want to purely show because uh, they're one of the big accounts, but uh, I just don't want to get them involved in this. And while the data is not detailed enough to point out all the exact project that did this, there is enough evidence to basically provide that a lot of ICOs could have done the same. And guys, what is your take on it? Do you guys think that ICOs are cashing out? Do you purely think that what I said on my Twitter 
which if you're not following me yet, remember to follow me. I went sort of a viral and it sort of hit my head, you know, I'm joking obviously. But do you guys think that I'm correct to saying this, that the possible market crash actually was caused by the ICO bubble bursting? I mean, the amount of money raised by ICOs in 2018 alone has overtaken 2017 itself and it's nowhere near stopping. It's absolutely crazy what is going on with it. And I hope that the people that are investing in it are actually doing their own research and just not hoping for high results and great sort of um, return on their investments but also actually investing in legit projects and not just because you saw someone promote it. I've never promoted anything and I don't think I ever will because I would feel horrendous if I was Trevon James, for example, and I had to face a court. So guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know what you think of the current market situation, whether you've been buying or just enjoying the drive as it is. And remember to subscribe to Combust Ladies. And I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.